Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today I'll be showing you how to import multiple Excel files into a single Python environment. I'll also be showing you how to then export the result into a single Excel file. In this case we'll be using names and ages. So what I've done is I've created three separate Excel files all with um, names and ages and then I'll be importing them into a single data frame ready for use in the Python environment. This is an extension onto my, a previous tutorial of mine where I showed you how to import a single Excel file. However, I thought it'd be great to show you if you wanted to um, collect your information very quickly and easily for use in Python. So firstly, I'll be showing you how to set up, how I set it up my tutorial and then I'll be running you through the code that I ran I created step by step and then I'll be showing you the output so first things first uh, let me show you how I set it up so the first thing I did here was I created three Excel Excel files within a folder called Excels the files are called names one names two and names three rather originally don't know what happening there Okay, so here we've got five names here and ages. And then in names two file, we've got five names here. And then in names three file, we've got five names here, all with their ages. So we have 15 names in total. The next thing we're going to do is we've saved those files as their file names and now we want them in a Python environment and then we want to manipulate them and transform them and then do all sorts of analytics on them in Python. So what we need to do first is we need to get them in a usable state and that's exactly what I'll be showing you how to do that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the code. First thing I'm going to do is import the OS module and then the pandas module as PD so whenever we call we write PD we're referring to the pandas module. Next thing I'll do is we need to check what where I'm what folder our environment our Python environment is currently reading from, and we do that by typing in os.getcwd or current working directory, and then we run the code, and then we can see on our output on the right that our code is actually running um, in the sheet before. So I created the Excel file within that sheet. So if we go to Excels, we can see here that if we go to the file before, we can see that this is where it's actually reading from. But we want it to go in one further. And we do that by simply typing in os.chd, which stands for change directory. And then we simply copy and paste our You are your far file path here into within our speech marks. Notice that you'll need to change the back slashes for forward slashes. And then after you've done that, we just need to do a check, do a print check. I've kept the one before, so we can see the before and after. Then we'll just run it again and see if it worked. And as you can see here, we've got the uh, working directory before and the working directory after and it, when we look at the after we can see that it is now reading from this file path here where our Excel files are so looking good so far the next thing we need to do is so we can get rid of these print checks now the next thing we need to do is uh, import our Excel files into Python we do that by creating a variable called path and put equal to and then just copy and paste this top bit here into this space here. And then what we do is we create another variable called files and equal that to os.listdeer path. And what that does is it lists all the files in that in the folder where path is and our path is just so happens to be exactly where our Excel documents are. 
and then what we're going to do is a print check on that and hopefully the file names names 1 names 2 and names 3 should appear so if we press F5 we can see in the bottom right that we have names 1 names 2 and names 3 looking good notice that they also have dot their extension name at the end um, one thing you can do if you wanted if your folder contains not just Excel files but also you know PowerPoints or Word documents or anything else or .py files what you can do is um, um, you can sort them out later on and I will show you exactly how to do that um, in a short while but right now what we what we have is the names of our files the next thing we need to do is we need to get the information from each of those files and store them into a single data frame and we do that by typing in by creating a variable called all names or you can call it whatever you want df for data frame I call it all names here and we equal that to pd.dataframe so pd refers to pandas and data frame is the area we're going to store our information from each of those three Excel files the next thing we need to do is we need to create a loop to run through those three files get the information from it and put it into the all names data frame and we do that by doing following the next bit here so firstly we type in 4f in files and then you press enter and we type in um, info equals pd pd pandas dot read xl so that command read xl is key it's pivotal that reads the excel files in f so for f in files means for each file in um, the excel folder and we're going to read the information from each one of those files and then what we're going to do at the end is we are going to um, append all names the the information that we've got from each one of those files into the all names data frame now if you wanted to select just excel files what you can add here what you can add after files is if f minus 5 equals dot and then the extension number what you can do here is you type press that and then that will just select dot slx files if you wanted to select just just dot xls to dot minus 4 and you take that or if you just wanted to put um, just xls files it doesn't matter whether you include a dot or not it's really completely irrelevant in this case then you can and then this way you'll just loop through files that contain that ending the minus 3 is you're going from the end of the string that's why you need a minus 3 so if we go to our output here we ran earlier let's go to names one dot xlsx you can see that the minus 3 will run from backwards to the start as opposed to forwards to the end that's why you need the minus 3 and then what it will do is a run from minus 3 to that to the end but in this case we only have Excel files in our folder so we don't need that and just making things go back to normal and so what we have here is we're going to run we're going to run this and then we're going to print our data frame so what you should have now in our output here uh, on our right is all of the names all 15 names and ages printed into a single data frame and we can see here we have our names don't know if we can zoom in no so this is our output so what we have here now is we have created a data frame with all of our names and ages collated from three Excel files into one single data frame and usable environment within Python now I'm going to go a bit further here and I'm going to show you how we can then export that back into a single Excel file and we do that by using the Excel writer command and we 
type we um, create a variable called writer and we equal that to pd.xlwriter and then we're going to within the Excel writer we're going to put the name of the file we want to call it so we could call it anything we call this all names output name output df output anything you want but make sure you have the extension at the end and then we're going to go down to create another line and we're going to put all names so we're going to reference our finalized data frame dot to Excel and then we're going to call the writer here and then we equal that to sheet one and then we're going to put writer dot save and what that will do is that will um, the writer will write the file the all names will put the information in the file and then the writer dot save will save the file into our current working directory so if you let's just run everything and hopefully in Excel we should have a fourth file here appearing called name output so let's run it and then let's go to our file here and then we have name output Notice, see here, we have now all of our 15 names into a single Excel file. So let's recap what we've done. We have started off with three Excel files with same information on them. This could be from three different people, three different companies, and so on and so forth. And now you want to do is we've, we're going to run this code to collate it into a single Excel file or a single usable environment within Python. Then we've exported again into a, out again into a single Excel file. So I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more of my tutorials and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Hey.